Hi everyone! The second prototype of the Polynorth has been finished and that was the first ever demo of the Polynorth playing with all of its six voices and with properly bandlimited waveforms. If you want to skip this introduction and go straight to the demo videos, click the links appearing now. I'll start with a little introduction about the project. So the Polynorth is a spare time hobby project with the aim of making a six voice polyphonic synthesizer with a hybrid architecture that has fully analog filters. It uses a single microcontroller to generate all the audio and it's a super compact package that can be put in your pocket and take it anywhere. It does not have a built-in keyboard because that would kind of ruin the portability. A keyboard is a lot about personal preference and you can actually do quite a lot even without the keyboard. Next up is a presentation of the hardware. So this is the main board. I'm not going to dive too much into the details here because this is already being redesigned. But at least we got the power supply section over here. We got the PIC32MZ microcontroller. This is an 8 channel DIC converter. On the first prototype there was actually three stereo DA converters but now it's just one 8 channel converter instead. So this feeds the six analog filters and the two remaining channels are fed directly to an auxiliary output. And then we've got some small uh, DA converters here that controls the resonance and cutoff on the filters. And this board is now upgraded to four layer design for better signal integrity. Next up is the user interface board. I decided it was a good idea to keep the user interface completely separate from the main board where the audio is generated to allow multiple kinds of user interfaces without having to redesign the whole thing. So this is a pretty typical interface for a digital synthesizer. There's 21 buttons, 5 pot meters and 1 encoder. There's a 256 by 64 pixel grayscale OLED display. This interface matches the size of the main board very well, so it allows for a very compact synthesizer. But maybe later I would make a, a larger PCB with more pot meters and like a more conventional analog desktop synthesizer. And check out this nice CNC milled aluminium front panel, which is actually a PCB with no copper layer. Now it's time for some actual sound demos. I made two demo tracks and all the synth sounds are coming from the Polynorth. The drums are also coming from the Polynorth but they are sample based.